Hello and welcome back to episode 47 of Pokemon Arceus. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And I've had a little bit of time to cool off after getting trolled by the so-called elemental forces. And I've also queued up some stuff for us to do. So let's get on with it. Uh, first things first, since we're back in town, let's go ahead and talk to the strange child under the tree here because one of the things that I did is get all the stuff. Wow, you've gathered every last one of the wisps. I really can't thank you enough. Now we can finally seal away that havoc reaping bundle of mischief once more. But we'll need to go to the shrouded ruins. That's the only place the sealing will work. We should meet there at the same time of day as when we first met. Hope you remember, I do not. So that's cool. Um, I did also, despite my promises to the contrary, because I figured I could, out I couldn't get away with not doing it, went ahead and filled up the uh, Pokedex entries for those assholes. Yes, I'm outside of the first minute now. Um, which means we can turn in that stupid quest to this woman that I used to like so that she can tell me to go find the last one. Because I checked out the Pokedex and sure enough, there's a gap for one more. Ah, you've arrived. You now know much about Landorus, Tornadus, and even Thunderous. Well done. In more normal times, I would bid you let those three fly free as is their nature but we are yet fresh from the tearing of the space-time rift. Until its after-effects fade entirely, perhaps it's better to keep our trio contained. And now it is time to tell you the rest. There it is. You can't mean... There is one more of that cohort. Come. A more? The, the last fund elemental force is heart. Everybody knows that there are five. Five of those. And that they make Captain Planet. This is Enamorous, a Pokemon hailed as the Herald of Spring. I... I hate it. Enamorous is not particularly given to ill behavior, but I imagine you'd like to document her. For your Pokedex, wouldn't you? Catch her then, if you like. She always flits about in the Crimson Mirelands. So she she came here just to humor you so that I could see her and then go get her. That raises some questions about who this Kajita is, doesn't it? What kind of relationship does she have with this Enamorous? And how sapphic is it? Uh, Crimson Mire Lands. Now we run around and look for the thing. And also wonder what weather type it is. Actually, you know what I don't want to do right now? Screw it, I'm already here. I don't want to do it, but... Why is there no music? You're not my mama. I said you're not my mama. And where where do I suppose this critter would like to hang out? Odds on nope. Nope. So, yeah, it's around here somewhere. Enamorous. What a what a goofy name. And what's spring got to do with love, anyway? Spring is when couples that have spent all winter caged up together, huddling from the cold, 
get tired of each other and go, go out and find different people to sleep with. Which I guess is still sort of amorous, isn't it? I don't even know what the weather conditions are, or if there are weather conditions that it cares about. I mean, at least Th Thundorus and that other one, Tornadus, those sort of had hints that they wanted storms. Alright, screw it. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Shrouded Runes and we're gonna do the, the Wisps thing. And the torches just spontaneously lit for me, and that's thoughtful. This mist is probably my favorite of the weather conditions. One down here? No, we go. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. I love being able, I love not being able to see what's going on around me. It's the best. Especially in a game that's all about the things that are going on around you. What, what was that? Ah, don't want it. And still, yeah, still going further north. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, but of course I don't know what the correct time of day is. So that's fun. But I believe... Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Oh good, come back at night to look for. Foin. I guess I can do that. So what uh, what do you think the ideal weather conditions are for Enamorous to show up? I mean, me, I think I think rain probably, but um, I'm pretty sure that my sensibilities are twisted for. Various reasons that we don't need to get into right now. That noise doesn't mean we're close to it, does it? No, I don't think so. I have, uh, considering all the time that I've I've spent off-roading uh, in between episodes, I've really started to get tired of uh, the the gaps between where you can run and where Sneasler will climb. Um, I don't think that there ought to be any such gaps, uh, but there are, and they're annoying. Maybe I'm not quite done being grumpy after all. No, that's not the one that I wanted. That's not the one I wanted either, but fine. Is the child present? Oh, child? There's the child. Vic, I'm glad you came. Let's get started, shall we? First of all, a confession, I may have told you one teeny tiny lie. About the wisps, there are actually 108 of them. I've been holding on to the last one. Could you put it in the odd keystone with the others? So we've all guessed what this is by now, right? But wait, before that, well, Vic, what do you think of me? 
You're a strange one. A strange one, huh? Yeah, you're right. You really do understand me. Here it goes, the final wisp. After this, the traveler who used that strange magic will finally forgive me, right? Close your eyes for a sec, would you? Are you Spiritomb? Is that what's actually going on here? I think it is. Receive the last wisp. And then... Odd Keystone started glowing. The Odd Keystone disappeared without a trace. Making you gather all those wisps was my last bit of mischief. Thanks for playing along. Please don't forget about me. What? You sense the presence of a strange Pokemon. There it is. Okay, so much for that plan. <laughs> oh, I hadn't I hadn't noticed that the rock was spiritomb shaped. Okay, so I think spiritomb is only weak against fairy or something. So we're just gonna but he's also immune to normal. So I'm just gonna have to beat him up a little bit. Ouch! How rude! Poor Gollum. Um, well, we'll just keep on going. Actually, is he immune to normal? He ought to be. He's a ghost type, right? Um, sure. You know what? Let's check. Yeah, he is immune to normal. Alright, Mantine. I need an agile move. And I guess I guess that one is hit. This is going to be a little tight, I think. That's not what I wanted. How do you suppose I get him to come back? Well, that was, uh, that was a thing that happened. He has to be catchable, though, because he's, I mean, I need him to, uh, I need him to do the Pokedex and finish the, the after game. So I'm betting that we just gotta, like, go away for a while and he'll come back. So I guess in the meantime we could spend some more time looking for Enamorous. Still no idea where that thing's gonna be. We do also have Giratina to get, but I really would like to leave Giratina until we've got everything else out of the way. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to pause and do a little Google and get some questions answered, and then I'll be back. And here we are. Uh, it turns out that she was hanging out right there in the Scarlet Bog, and that, uh, and that as usual, uh, chasing her around was incredibly annoying and stupid. So I'm, I'm really glad that I'm doing this right after 
doing it and doing it and doing it. Um, but maybe, well, I know this is going to be the last time, assuming that I managed to catch her. Haunter, I really do not welcome your interference here, and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Right now. Yeah, fuck right off. And now you. What do we have? Why not? I'm impatient right now. Yeah, that'll that'll do nicely. But now, I believe we'll take it a little easier for the climax. God damn it. All right, Enamorous. I'm tired of your bullshit. I'm just gonna throw balls at you. This is gonna happen. It happened to your friends, and it is going to happen to you. And that's just how life is today. You know, you didn't you didn't sign up for this. You didn't ask for it. But uh, you don't have a choice anymore. You want to see how futile that is? Look at this. And if I figure out that you've used up your, your stupid move, I'm going to wake Decidui up and bring him back in here to beat on you some more. So you might as well just recognize the futility of this struggle and stay in the goddamn ball. It's a very wise choice. And, uh... Oh yeah, now I need to fill out your stupid Pokedex entry. I would like to be able to fast travel, please. What do you say? Alright, there we go. We might as well just get our... our lame little Pokedex expedition out of the way right away, huh? Um, you. So this guy's got to know what I've got in the pasture, right? So he's got to be, like, completely in awe of me right now. There you are, shithead. Now, we need to use some Agile moves and some Strong moves, and, um... I'll just hit you away. I should wake you up. Let's we'll sleep until morning so we can play with things that aren't ghosts. Yes. Now, beatings. Hey there, little voodoo. Are you ready to meet the elemental force of love? And why why do you have a snake motif? That's weird. So we'll go ahead and just strong style this. It's not very effective, but it doesn't need to be. 
Unfortunately, we only need to complete 10 research tasks in order to be done with this. And we have just done at least three. And now we'll do an agile style extrasensory, and I think that'll add another couple. I actually feel bad for the Boodoos. Where are you? There you are. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to do a few more of those. Which is fine. We've got some more PP. Who would have thought that the that the love Pokemon would be just actually fairly limited in PP. Do that again. And a few more of these. Yeah, I don't I don't understand the snake motif. Um, perhaps that is a Japanese cultural thing that I'm not aware of, of which there are many. Do I want to mess with an Alpha Psyduck? Of course I want to mess with an Alpha Psyduck. It's in front of me, so I'm going to mess with it. Can I... Oh, I can still. How cool is that? I'm not even paying attention to type affinities right now. Not that it matters. Cool story. Next savage beating, please. Oh, a regular Psyduck? Why not? And for you, I have an Agile style extrasensory. Uh, that is 10. And so I am done with Enamorous for all of time. Get wrecked, Enamorous. And then stay in the box. Forever and ever. Yeah. I'll tell you all about that pink ugly, snaky thing. What do you think, Professor? Do you want it? Does it turn you on? Would you smash? And now take me back to the mean lady who told me to do all of that. The lady is not here. Elekid outbreak. Well, if I was interested in farming Babby, that would be a good one to go chase after. And if I have any designs on 100%ing the Pokedex, I'll need to do that sooner or later. But right now, I don't think that sounds like any fun at all. Aha, you've caught a Namorous as well, and you know much about her. Enamorous arrives in Hisui once winter has passed, hence the epithet Hailed of Spring, Herald of Spring. <coughs> Her company, when I have the pleasure, is of great help. She ferries me hither and yon across Hisui, but I'll leave her in her, your care for now, I suppose. It's not as if you could take her away from me. For now. Indeed. Even you can hardly expect to live for all time, surely. but she will be in your care for now. Here, this is the reveal glass. If you use it on Enamorous and her brethren, they will assume different forms. Great, I'm gonna go toss it in a river. You Enamorous and her brethren have something in common. You all tend to stir the pot of life. Do not mistake me, I mean this positively. 
Well, frankly, I don't care how you mean it. I'm insulted by that ins association. If everything were straightforward, what meaning would there be in living as long as we do? Once there was a god of a field, and once there was a god of spring, upon Hisui's wind it wheeled, brought life to every growing thing. Was that how the old verse went? I have passed on to you all there is to pass. Where history goes from here, I leave to you and your companions to see through. Okay, well, she's clearly immortal or something. So, uh, let's not ever talk to her again. Because she has offended us greatly. And now that we've been to the village, we can go back to the Crimson Marlins and take another shot at Spiritomb. So let's do that. Why do I have a quest in the Crimson Marlins? In the Coronet Highlands, I mean. That must be my main quest. Orboro Tunnel. Okay, we'll, ch we'll check that out after we're done with Spiritomb, I think. Then we need to go... Well, let's see if this one's actually any closer. And we will try slightly harder not to knock it out this time. Off we go. It would be more convenient if he would just not be immune to normal moves so that I could false swipe him like any civilized Pokemon. But at least he doesn't run around and troll me like those jerks that I just finished with. Okay. I was worried that I might have to wait until nighttime, but I guess not. Man, look at him just really struggling to get around. Thank you. Just stay in there. Or don't. Now what? So now we do this again, right? Yeah. We'll start with one of these. And now... We will look for something not very effective to use. Uh, but he's gonna wipe Gengar out. That's n oh. Well, shit. Okay, uh, Gengar. Just get your hit in quickly, please. All right, we're gonna go agile just to be extra safe. That will do. Good night, Gengar. Thank you for your service. And now... Mm, yeah. Now, look, I'm even offering you a nice ball, okay? Just, just get in there. I think you're way cooler than the guys that I caught recently, so I might even like bring you out sometime. Excellent. Great. So we're getting real close now. We're getting really close. There are a couple of fossil guys that I still need to catch. And um, I'm pretty sure. Huh? Oh, okay. Um, pretty sure, what? That they're the last ones. So it's, uh, Kranidos and Shieldon. Yeah. Um, oh, and I've got Spiritomb with me because I had an open slot. Nice. There we go. The only way to get 
and one of those guys is in distortions in the Coronet Highlands. So they're kind of a hassle and we are definitely not going to do that on camera. So I'll do that in between episodes. Son of a gun. Uh, I will do that in between episodes and in the next episode we will do, we will calm down that that one guy that's raging and then we're going after Giratina and then it'll be on to Arceus. So we might not have only one more episode left, uh, but we might not make it to 50. Talk to you soon.